Garden of the Gods is our topic today. Stay tuned to the end and you'll hear all about it. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James E. Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. Uh, and we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel, so please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 Five. You can text us to that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. Please, whatever you got to do to get those questions to us, please ask. We're here to help. We're here to provide value to you and helping you make informed decisions, whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here. We are local experts of this area and we love this area. So please, please, please reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys, we're talking about another massive staple here in the Pice Peak region. I've talked about it in the past. This video is dedicated specifically specifically to Garden of the Gods. Garden of the Gods is a staple here in the Colorado Springs area. Usually when you see pictures that entail Colorado Springs, you will see a picture of Garden of the Gods with Pikes Peak in the background with snow on it. That is one of the most iconic photos that you will see, I think really in Colorado in a lot of ways. It's a really cool place to check out. It doesn't matter if it's summertime, springtime, fall time, winter time, you're gonna have a good time at Garden of the Gods. Even if you've lived here for a long time and you got family coming in, definitely a place to even go take a look at as well. It'll give you something to do outside. That's what folks love doing about being in Colorado is being outside anyways, and it is completely free to go take a look at. Garden of the Gods specifically is north of Manitou on the Front Range. You can't miss it. You'll see signs all over the place directing you into it. You can put it in your phone. It'll guide you right to it. They've done some construction out there with a nice big roundabout where the visitor center is. Definitely recommend popping into the visitor center first. It'll give you some history of it. It'll talk about the different places to take a look at. And then you could actually drive down into the Garden of the Gods park area. You could park in certain parking lots and do small hikes, short hikes, no hikes, or just sitting in the vehicle and just looking at the beautiful things around you. There's so many options down there. We've done hiking. We've just driven around it. We've taken our horses down there and ridden horseback down in Garden of the Gods too. It is just such a gorgeous place. You've got these super unique red rock features that just jut out of the ground and you got little things like kissing camels and different spots. It'll bring you up into, there's a paved sidewalk that walks you through the majority of what the tourists actually see in Garden of the Gods and that they can get up to up and close right there in front so you can take strollers. Lots of handicapped folks are able to get out there too. If they're not able to walk a lot, they can hop into a wheelchair and actually take a look at that. Or you can have walkers out there with some elderly too. Lots of different things, very accessible in that area. They've also got trails that go all the way around it. So, and they're very well marked and they're very well groomed trails. Some can get a little bit more rough than others as you kind of go up that Western edge up there as well, but super cool places to check out for sure and you just get different perspectives from all of it as well. There's lots of professional and amateur climbing that goes on out there too. You do need to get a permit to be able to do that. And you've got the opportunity to see some wildlife out there as well. You'll probably definitely see mule deer. It's in the summertime, keep your eyes out for rattlesnakes. There are rattlesnakes down there, just watch where you're walking down there as well. But you also have the chance of seeing the longhorn or the bighorn sheep uh, that are out there as well. Not longhorn sheep, it's not a sheep that's made it with a longhorn cow. <laughs> That would be weird, but the bighorn sheep, the bighorn sheep, they've got a herd out there that come in every now and then you get a chance to see them. Really, really cool things to see. You get to see eagles flying over quite a bit. Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous area to see. Certainly something to make sure you come through and check out. They've got the Garden of the Gods souvenir shop too, which is a great place you could buy a quick bite to eat. In there, they've got a little grill in there and they've got all kinds of local artists, gifts, stuff that's kind of piled up in there too that you can actually go down and take a look at. And if you wanted to ride a horse down there, they've got a riding stables down there that you can actually arrange that through as well. And
and take a guided horseback ride through Garden of the Gods too. You also see people mountain biking through certain portions as well. Certainly something to check out, certainly something to do. And I hope that you guys take the opportunity to get out there and see it. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You could text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.